the Egyptian god Amun was known for a, um, a, a, a horns, ram's horns, curly ram's horns, and this is actually the temple of Amun in Karnak in Egypt, and out front of the temple of Amun is this avenue of sphinxes, but they're called cryosphinxes because that's the Greek word for uh, ram, and so these are ram's head sphinxes with, you can see, those curved horns. And so this is the avenue of the Sphinx, uh, of the Sphinxes at the Temple of Amun. So they gave them, the, these creatures, the name Ammonites because they reminded them of the Amun ram's horns. So, so these are fossilized creatures that were found in the bedrock, at fossils in bedrock. How'd that happen? Noah's flood. They're part of the pre-flood world. That's the world of paleontology and geology. Uh, maybe some of you visit Asheville Fossil Bed in Nebraska. Now, now here's, here's the area, and then they began to uncover uh, creatures there. What's this? All right, that's fern, the, the, two different uh, ferns, plant fossils from Kansas. Uh, so we not only have fossilized animals, but we have fossilized plants, and uh, what do we have in this picture? Footprints. Fossilized dinosaur footprints. 